Welcome back everybody. This is Shay D. Still going through my DVD horror collection. We are on shelf 12. So let's get started. We are on shelf 12 already. Ghost Rig. This is one I had seen a long time ago. It was okay. Um, St. Agatha. I really enjoyed this one. If you want to check out my mini review of this on my 31 Days of Dollar Tree Horror. I enjoyed that movie. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, Cat of Nine Tails, some old 70s stuff, some Dario Argento stuff here. Uh, here's just another release of the Cat of Nine Tails. Yeah, it's a decent movie. It's pretty good. Phenomena, really like this movie. Awesome. Um, now I do have some more Dario Argento stuff and everything on Blu-ray. And I do have my Blue Underground stuff on another shelf which I have yet to get to, but just hang in there and I will get to those and show you guys those as well. But yeah, Phenomena, this is the old uh, Anchor Bay release. Really cool movie, really like that one. I always like that movie. The Card Player, I didn't mind this one. Um, I've heard a lot of people don't care for this one, but I didn't mind it at all. Here we have Dark Disposition. And what this is, is it has 10 movies. So it has 13 Hours in a Warehouse, Army of the Dead, Project Purgatory, Kidnapped Souls, Animals, The Woodsman, Death Knows Your Name, Blood Descendants, The Jokel, I don't know how you pronounce that, and Poe. I haven't actually watched any of those just yet. That was just the pickup I'd got, I don't know, not too, too long ago, but The Day After, great made for TV movie. Um, yeah, some, some crazy shit dealing with, you know, nukes and stuff and what would, that's a pretty crazy movie, but it's good though. Uh, Death Race. This is all right. This is the remake and stuff. I have fun with this one. I have part two as well on Blu-ray, uh, the Midnight Horror Collection. This has four zombie movies, Last of the Living, Grave Mistake, Awaken the Dead, and I Am Omega. Let me kind of resituate right here. Uh, Witchboard 2. I really enjoy this one. Uh, Witchboard, the first one, is cool. I don't own it, but uh, Witchboard 2 is great. I have this on VHS as well. I think it's a little bit of an underrated sequel. Have a lot of fun with that one. Dorian Gray. Still got to get around to watching this one. Have not checked that one out. Have not checked this one out either. This one is called dark secrets here we have one this has a little like lenticular thing here um this is just some old school movies this is called killer gorilla with three classic gorilla movies king of kong island white pongo and bride of the gorilla and we have congo here i like that movie as well uh scared silly this one has 13 classic horror comedies. Um, Creature from the Haunted Sea. The Creeping Terror. One of them I got this for is a Death Row Game Show. You have Ghosts on the Loose. Little Shop of Horrors. Manos, The Hands of Fate. And here's the other one I mainly got it for. My Mom's a Werewolf. And then you have some other ones like One Body Too Many. A Bucket of Blood. The Gorilla. King of the Zombies. Treasure of Fear. And spooks run wild. All right. Coming back up here. We have Berlin Syndrome. This one was pretty good. I didn't mind this one. Not bad. I think that was another Dollar Tree pickup. But it was a good flick. Pandorum. This is some good uh, sci-fi horror right here. Yeah. I dug this movie. Pretty cool. That's some good sci-fi horror stuff for sure. Pretty cool shit. Uh, Wes Craven's Invitation to Hell. This was a made-for-TV movie. That he had put on just a regular network back in the day. It was okay. It was alright. Not one of his best. But you know. Wes Craven has so many great classics. Alright. Now we're getting into a bunch of Scooby-Doo. I've always been a fan of Scooby-Doo since I was young. And anytime I see these ones. If it's one I don't have. I pick it up. And yes. I do throw it with my horror ones. Because um, it was just something I've always liked since a kid. And yeah. I like my Scooby-Doo flicks. So what this is, is what's new Scooby-Doo. This is the complete uh, first season. So that's a whole season right there. You have this one, Scooby-Doo, 
frank and creepy this one's a lot of fun pretty funny all these are, are pretty funny and well made too scooby-doo and stage fright you have scooby-doo and the vampires right here let's see what else we got here scooby-doo and curse of the speed demon you got Scooby-Doo and the Witch's Ghost. Scooby-Doo, Monster of Mexico. Uh, Scooby-Doo, uh, WrestleMania with the freaking John Cena in there. Kind of random and funny. Uh, Scooby-Doo, Moon Monster Madness. Like I said, I enjoy all these. I like this one a lot too. Scooby-Doo and Kiss. Rock and Roll Mystery. Uh, and then here we have Scooby-Doo meets Batman. All right, getting back into some of the regular movies here. Warm Bodies. This one is okay. This is one my lady had uh, given me. I think she has the Blu-ray of this or something. But she gave me this movie. It was all right. Kind of like a love story zombie movie. Uh, the Reaping. Uh, now, I don't remember... I don't remember much about this one. That may be one I have yet to check out. I don't know. The Rockville Slayer. Yeah, this movie is not good at all. Let me readjust again here, guys. I'm kind of down low and, you know, getting close. to. But the Rockville Slayer did not care for that one at all. Um, the Amityville Horror. Classic. Great 70s flick. Even more uh, than the first one is I enjoyed this. Amityville to the possession. I think James Wan got a lot of stuff from the Conjuring ones from this. That whole vibe and stuff. Yeah, Amityville 2 is my favorite one. But I really enjoy the first one as well. And I actually enjoy this one quite a bit too. Which is the remake. I think it's pretty good. Here you have Planet Terror. These are the two Grindhouse movies. Oh, a lot of fun with Planet Terror. Pretty freaking awesome. Same with Death Proof. I have a lot of fun with this one as well. Pretty awesome. I love both those movies. Um, Marker. I don't remember much about this one. Uh, looks like there's a pretty big glare in this corner over here too. Dog Soldiers. Great werewolf flick. Awesome. I really like that one a lot. Hide and Seek. Haven't seen it for a while. I remember liking that one back in the day as well. Species. This one's pretty good too. I like this one as well. Um, yeah, some good sci-fi horror stuff again. Species 3. Now, I do have part 2 on VHS. But here we have Species 3. Then we have Species 4, which is called The Awakening. This one has a pretty cool lenticular cover that changes a few times. So, But yeah, I enjoy all these movies. The first ones are definitely the best, but... The Ugly, I have this one on VHS as well. This is a, a film from New Zealand, I think, but it was all right. Mimic, I think this one's a little bit underrated as well. Really cool movie. Uh, Guillermo del Toro did this one. Um, yeah, I really like this movie. I actually enjoy the sequels as well, but you know, the first one's the best, then probably two, then three, but here's just the trilogy. The three film set of all three Mimic movies. Here you have the remake of The Hills Have Eyes. Freaking awesome remake. Love this. Brutal. Just crazy movie. Real real, real gory. Real brutal. But they're great. And I like The Hills Have Eyes too as well. I definitely did not get that for $14.99. I think I paid like 2 bucks or something for this. But yeah. I love both those. The Woman in Black. I enjoy this one as well, and I actually enjoyed The Woman in Black 2 also. So yeah, I thought those were pretty cool. This one has nine movies, but I think this is just the one disc, so I don't have the other disc to that, that goes with this set. But this has Cellar Door, Midnight's Child Hurt, The Cry, and Bay Coven. Coming over back here, we have Lost Voyage. This one was okay. Bruiser. Um, I think this is an underrated uh, George A. Romero film. Let's resituate over here. 
and we're going to get back into these ones by the wall. How I've been showing you guys how I'm just flipping these. Dead like me. Uh, don't really know nothing about this one. I think this was... Had become a TV show or something. But yeah, that's a movie. I haven't seen it. Here we have a four pack. Let's see what we got here. Um, Boa vs. Python. These are those like uh, made for TV sci-fi like fun ones. Chupacabra Terror. Frankenfish, which is actually pretty awesome. I really like uh, Frankenfish. It's cool. Lake Placid 3. That's that four pack. Then you have... The world's end once again not really uh not really horror but it's funny and it goes along with like Shaun of the dead and that their other series alien raiders this one's pretty cool got some good sci-fi horror stuff here uh yeah they're all like trapped in this market in this grocery store and there's some pretty gory scenes and good stuff in this one too i liked alien raiders that one is another one that kind of surprised me it was pretty good expecting mercy i think this one was more along the lines of a thriller. Don't remember much about it. Here we have another one from the Man Eater series. And this is a triple feature. It has Swamp Devil, Eye of the Beast, and Black Swarm. Um, I think my favorite one out of these is probably Black Swarm. Then maybe uh, Eye of the Beast and Swamp Devil. But they're all fun. I had fun with all those. Just kind of like some of those sci-fi, you know made for tv movies um the last resort this one was okay i hadn't seen this in a while a little more low budget and stuff but it was okay some more like travel horror strange land this one's cool i've always liked this one the one with d snyder um yeah good flick i've always liked that one thought it was pretty cool immortality i know i have this one in another uh pack as well but this one is just a individual copy haven't seen that one for a while either malevolence uh this is a good movie i've been uh wanting to rewatch this one actually again uh, recently because i think i may have not seen the ending to this so i definitely got to recheck this out this is the cool old anchor bay release with like this uh like this slip cover that's kind of like you know you can see right through it. It's like this clear slip cover. But that's a cool uh, DVD release. Evil. Don't really know about this one or if it's really horror. I don't know. One I had picked up for cheap. Haven't got around to watching yet. Yet. Uh, Death Machine. Like a self-explanatory. That's what it is. Like a big killer robot. I had some fun with that. It was okay. It could have been better though. Little Monsters. One I liked a lot since I was a little kid. This one's a lot of fun. I think this is a underrated classic here too. This one's just a blast. I I had fun with that one. I've always liked that since I was a little kid. The Forgotten. Haven't seen that one in a while, but I remember liking it back in the day. I remember thinking it was pretty cool. Um, Virus. Um, I do have this one on a pack with Shocker as well, but I enjoyed that movie. It's pretty good. Let's get back up here. Heathers, once again, not really all the way horror, but horror enough, I guess. Um, I do have this on VHS as well. I haven't watched Heathers in, in quite a while. Baghead, this is like a horror comedy. It was fun. It was a low-budget movie, but I actually had fun with it. Um, Incubus, haven't seen this one yet. Uh, this is... Look at how young William Shatner is there. It's the old one with William Shatner in it. The Butterfly Effect Collection. This has the Butterfly Effect and the Butterfly Effect 2. Now I do have part 3. It is on one of that After Dark Horror Fest. I think volume 3. Part 3 is on there. But the first one's great. Um, I think I've seen part 2. It's not so memorable. So, And I definitely haven't seen 3. But I should... Uh, get back to these and give those a reviewing as well and watch all three but the first one is really good and there is that double pack that has virus and then it has Wes Craven shocker which is another one I loved growing up childhood you know just a childhood favorite of mine uh, Wes Craven is my favorite director and yeah I actually have the cassette tape of the uh, shocker soundtrack 
you know i've always loved the music and stuff from there so yeah that's pretty cool too and as you can see right there i kind of showed my child's play thing last time on a previous shelf but i have this alien thing hanging up and this i just have another chucky knife hanging up right here but yeah everybody this is shade d this was uh shelf 12 thanks everybody that's been uh checking out my videos sometimes i wonder why i freaking upload these but whatever <laughs> you know hopefully you guys see some uh titles or hopefully somebody fucking enjoys these videos i don't know but anyway that was shelf 12 i am on instagram my name is shady horror on there as well and i will get to shelf 13 here not too long peace